in the main event in Mexico City. Brandon Moreno. Oh my God, the crowd's going to go crazy. Take it on Brandon Royval. In a fight that's very similar to the co-main. Two guys fighting to get back to a title shot against Alexander Pantoa, who seemed to solidify himself at the top right now. But both of these guys scratching and clawing, trying to get back to that title fight. So let's get into it right now. In the flyweight division at UFC Mexico City, this is your main event. You got Brandon Moreno coming at 21-7, and seven, taking on Brandon Royval, who comes in at 15-7. and seven. And of course, Moreno will be uh, the crowd favorite. For sure. He's two inches taller than Roy Vall, who's 5'9". Moreno, 30. Roy Vall, 31. So they're both in the middle of their prime. Smack in the middle. Moreno, given up, or excuse me, has two inches uh, in reach. 70 to 68. So a two-inch reach advantage. He fights right-handed. Brandon Roy Vall fights southpaw. Now, in terms of activity, they're equally alike. 3.8 significant strikes per minute right on the money. No difference there. Takedown game, Moreno can land like a takedown and a half uh, every three rounds or a takedown every other round. Roy Vall, that's not really his game. He wants to stand up and strike. Now, Moreno, 64% takedown defense. Coming off the loss to Pantoja for the belt, that was by split decision. Great fight. He actually led in significant strikes, 147 to 129. Before that, he beat Davis and Figueredo and Kai Kai fronts. So he's been in title fights. This will be his first non-title fight in a long time. Now, Brandon Royval, 40% takedown defense, so Moreno can expose that. He lost to Pantoja, and it wasn't quite as close as Moreno's fight with Pantoja. He gave up eight takedowns, just got dominated on the ground, but beat Matthias Nicolau, Matt Schnell, and Rogerio Bontorin before that. So he's a worthy competitor, but look, I'm not going against Brandon Moreno, and I'm definitely not going against Moreno at home. He's going to be the crowd favorite. He's the better fighter. Brandon Moreno should get the win here, and he's got the experience fighting in title fights. So despite the numbers being even in terms of activity, Moreno uh, can potentially land a takedown or two, sneak out two rounds that way, win another, and I like him to win a decision 48-47 uh, in this fight if he can't get a KO, which is a possibility too. But he wins, in my opinion, with the 22-7 and seven flyweight division, UFC, Mexico City. Yeah, I think you got to go with Moreno in this one at home. Crowd's fired up. Everybody's ready to go. And uh, Moreno's coming out. And it's about to go down. That's how the scene is, is going to be set. And the people are going to go crazy. And Moreno's going to be full of energy, wanting to win in front of the home crowd, former champion, with a chance to win in front of the home crowd to fight for the belt again. That's what's at stake here. So, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height, yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.